Hello everyone, welcome to a video about a chord progression called Christoph Changes and the amazing lines that Django plays over those chords. Let's get to it. Before I start, I wanted to ask your attention for a crowdfunding project that is going on right now. It's for a new album by the Gizmo Graf Trio with some special guests and one of those guests is me, but then I'll be playing violin. And we are recording famous tunes from uh, Disney movies. So go check it out. There is a nice Indiegogo uh, crowdfunding page with a, a short film on there. There's a link in the description. Please check it out. And if you want to pre-order the album or want to help us funding the uh, mixing, recording, mastering, then uh, go take a look. So in this video, we're going to talk about Christoph Changes. Now that name is ambiguous, not everybody is using that name, but many people inside the Gypsy Jazz community are familiar with that name. I'm not even sure it's the correct name or if it's a good name, but it is meant to point to the last eight bars of many standards that have a certain chord progression. Now, I don't want to make a whole long video where I go in depth about the many variations of Christoph Changes and all the songs that have them, but a couple of tunes I can mention right now. Django's Tiger is one, I can give you anything but love, them their eyes, all the things you are, it had to be you. And it's that progression that starts on the four chord. It's always the final eight bar, it starts on the four chord. So let's say, um, them their eyes. I'm gonna use that song anyway to demonstrate. It's in the key of D, but the, the final eight bars start on the four chord, G. And then you get a progression that sounds like this. That progression, and there's many variations. For instance, the second chord, I was playing a diminished chord. I was playing G sharp diminished. But you could also play a four minor chord. So you play G and then G minor. That happens, for example, in All of Me. And then after that, the second chord is the one chord. So G, G sharp diminished, D. But in, for example, All the Things You Are, it goes to the sixth chord. We have um, D flat, that's the four chord uh, of all things you are, because it's in A flat. So D flat, D flat minor, and then we go to C minor seven, which is the sixth chord. So as you can see, there's many variations, many possibilities, but the funny thing is, even though the rhythm section might be playing one of those variations, you can always use the same concepts for soloing because it's just such a strong progression and the lines can be so colorful that it doesn't have to always match. So what I did is I took five great lines that Django plays on top of those changes, and I want to show them to you. I don't want to spend too much time talking about the theory, I just want to show them to you, and I think it's a wise idea to just learn them and apply them, and then maybe later on I'll make an, another video and show you what you can do once you've got those lines in your fingers. So here we go with the first phrase. This is probably the most famous Christoph Changes line that Django played. It comes from his famous solo on Django's Tiger. It's the final eight bars of his solo. So I thought I'd start with that because you probably recognize it. The original is an A, but in this video, every line will be in the key of D because I want to demonstrate the lines on the tune Them Their Eyes. And if you don't know it, it's, it's a really a staple in the Gypsy Jazz uh, repertoire, but it is in fact just a normal jazz standard that was played by not only gypsy jazz musicians, just regular swing musicians, but nowadays it's kind of forgotten, except for in the gypsy jazz community where everybody plays it. And uh, we play it in D, so the Christoph changes start on the G chord. And that's why I put the line. So one thing I want to notice is that the minister Peggio, this one, I put a normal diminished arpeggio, but in fact, Django is playing uh, a diminished arpeggio with one skipped note. He's playing it like this. One, two, three, four. So then you skip one note of the diminished arpeggio like this. That's of course Django's way of playing it with two fingers. And then you have to play a quarter note somewhere to make it fit. But I like 
the normal diminished arpeggio just because I'm so used to playing it. And then it can be just straight eighth notes. So I'll demonstrate it on Dem the Rise. I just play a regular solo, simple solo, and then I'll end a chorus with that line. Maybe I won't play it verbatim, maybe I'll change a little bit some of the rhythms, maybe an embellishment. That's the point, of course, you don't want to play it exactly like Django. Well, you could, but you could also just uh, vary it a little bit. So here we go, Dem the Rise. Great line, let's go to phrase number two. This phrase comes from the first recording of the tune I Love You, the one that he uh, played with Corpelli on violin. There's another one with clarinet. This one comes from the violin uh, version. By the way, I will link all of the original recordings in the description, so go listen to them. And it's beautiful. Uh, the ending is special, of course, with the... Uh... It's also a good opportunity to be free with the rhythms. So uh, let's try it again on Then the Rise. Let's go to the third phrase. This comes from the second recording of I Love You, the one that he played with clarinet. I really like the ending part where it goes. That's a great line, uh, just to know also for when you have a progression that goes from the two chords as a dominant to the five chords to one. So that's two, five, one with dominance. Let's say you're in the key of C, instead of playing D minor, G7, C, you play D7, G7, C. But even if it's D minor, you can still play it if you don't play an F sharp on the first beat, right? You could play something like one, two, three. I just played the ending of the complete line that I'm gonna play on Then the Rise, and then I just use it on the two five one. So here we go, the complete line on them their eyes. Let's go to the next phrase. This great line comes from his famous solo on All of Me. And uh, that's in C. So this line is played originally in F, but instead of playing it, plays it here. 
So it's a different fingering, but I made a fingering that is easier to move. So uh, if we play it in, in G, or it's in, in D, but starting on the G chord. So we have the triplet here, starting off beat. So you get one, two, three. It's hard to time, but you could actually put a D in front of it and you can start on the beat. So one, two. It's maybe easier. And then here, you have room to improvise. Just embellish. So let's try it out on them the rise. And let's go to the final phrase. Now that I think of it, this is actually from that second recording of I Love You, not the, the previous phrase I was saying that. I, I don't remember which song that is from, but I will put the correct one on the screen so you've already seen that. So you know more than I do now. So this is from the uh, I Love You recording, the second one with clarinet. It's a tricky phrase. I made some changes. For instance, the beginning, I, I changed it to that. I think he plays something like, it's kind of unwieldy. I don't think it sounds better than, and then the line is pretty tricky to play. Three, four, one. It's just not easy. You have to work on it. Then you get this part. An easy change could be to play it like this. So I changed the rhythms. But Django is actually playing different notes. He's playing... He's playing that. The second time it's the same. But I prefer to... To play that sound to get... On E7 you get that sharp 11 sound. I actually suspect that Django meant to play that, but he just played the wrong fret. Of course, it's not a mistake, still sounds great, but I put the version that I think Django was meaning to play. Let's try it out. There you go, five great Christoph Chains' solo lines. Now there's lots of stuff that you can do with it, and maybe I'll make another video, because you can take these lines apart, and then you have very interesting lines to play over 2-5-1s. And I don't think 2-5-1s, but there's no 2-5-1s in the Christoph Chains'. That is correct, it seems like that, but it is actually not the case. And who knows, maybe I'll make a video about that in the future. If you like this video, please give it a like, I hit the bell icon to subscribe, it really helps my channel. If you want to download the tabs that you saw on screen today, you can download them from my Patreon. If you join there at the 5 euro tier, you can download the tabs from this video, from many other videos. If you join the 10 euro tier, you can download uh, tabs even further back, and you will get access to lots of exclusive videos. And then there's the highest tier, which is 28 uh, euros, and you get access to everything on my Patreon, which is hundreds of videos and hundreds of pages of tab. So go check it out if you're interested. And otherwise, I will see you in the next video right here on YouTube. Bye.